G'day, punkers. Diego's hiding over there. We can't show you his face because he's an astronomer. What are we going to do today? Today we're going to test out Timu. I always said I'd never buy anything from Timu, but I did. I bought a few things, so let's have a look at them. First up, and this is how the package arrived. I bought a monocular field vision is infinite and wonderful telescope. Let's have a look at it. Oh wow, this looks um, interesting. Let's have a look. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's actually, that actually might be all right. I don't think I'm gonna be able to see views of planets and nebula that it said we would get, but we are gonna test, oh, it's got a level, which doesn't work, cool. So it has a level that doesn't work, but we're gonna test it out because that's actually, that's not bad at all. I think we might actually be able to do something with this. I also, I also got a 0.45 times phone lens clip-on accessory for mobile phone. Again, that's how the package arrived. It's not even in the little case that it comes in. So that obviously clips onto the phone. The wide angle lens with macro. Why don't I believe that that's gonna work? Anyway, we are going to test this as well to see what it can do with the phone. Just put the phone on the tripod and we'll give it a shot. But I guess the most exciting thing is this. Ah, uh, yes, we're looking at the AZMZ0300 astronomical telescope, which has some pretty, pretty epic things that you can see through this telescope. You can see dragonflies like that, but you can see dragonflies. Oh my God, that's an amazing view of Saturn that we're going to get. I don't even know what that is, but that is a heck of a very detailed nebula that even through the most powerful telescopes that I've looked through, you can't see, but this is gonna be able to see it. So we're gonna have a look at it. We're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot tonight. Let's, let's open it up. Okay, so it comes with a, a 45 and a, a three times something. A three times something. <laughs> wow. All right, let's build the telescope with the very plastic 45 with the very dirty mirror. All right, there we go. Let's put that there. What else have we got? We have... Oh, it comes with a phone adapter. I didn't even know that. Okay, so... I can do astrophotography with this now. And then, what have we got? <laughs> oh my God. If that isn't the most piece of crap plastic eyepiece I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that is just, oh, there's a 20 mil plastic piece of junk too. Would you like a 20 mil? <laughs> uh, that's all that was in that one. What else have we got in here? What's, what's this? I, I gotta say, I'm actually hopeful also that it's purple. I really want it to be purple. I'll be disappointed if it's not. Oh, it's white. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is just epic. All right, let's. Um, oh my gosh, that focus. I reckon if I put an eyepiece, uh, sorry, a um, phone on that with the adapter, it's just going to go. Bleh. Anyway, we're going to test it out. <laughs> oh, so you have to unscrew. All right, let's put the lens cap back. You can see the lens, the telescope there. Put the, the cap back on. Oh my goodness, this is just brilliant. Terrestrial and astronomical telescope. It has, oh, it's, that's its dew shield. It doesn't even come with the finder scope. Care and cleaning of optics. I don't think we're gonna, what to look for in the sky? Oh, at least it gives you a warning about not looking at the sun. So that's good. Bonus points for that so far. The moon is the easiest, to, there's no moon at the moment, so I can't do that. We can do the planets. We can do Jupiter and Mars tonight. So we will give the planets a go. Apparently I can see Uranus and Neptune through this. Diego, should we look for Uranus and Neptune through this tonight? Do you think we'll find it? It says we can find it. Do you, you know how many Earths fit into Uranus? How many Earths fit into my anus? Like 250. Plus one, if I'm relaxed. It's got an installation guide and it shows me how to set it up and attach my phone. But apparently we can see Uranus. Beyond our solar system, there lies a multitude of objects to be found. Galaxies, nebula, 
and star clusters abound. We're really gonna test this out. I'm actually gonna try and do some astrophotography with this with this telescope tonight. This is gonna be great. That's pretty much it. Let's put it together anyway. Let's see. I am a bit disappointed that you don't get a viewfinder with it. You have a slot for a viewfinder, but you don't get a viewfinder. Oh no, no, you do, you do. We get a viewfinder. Take note, this is gonna be a microphone in a future video. Let's build this, shall we? What the, oh wow. <laughs> Ah, what is, oh my God, we got some Barlows. That is the nastiest looking Barlow I have ever seen. My goodness, a three times Barlow. And we have a one and a half times erecting eyepiece. Erecting. Erecting, it's an erecting eyepiece, Diego. YouTube will probably demonetize that now. And the extremely impressive high quality tripod all right let's put this together high quality product this now i've done this so that you don't have to this was 70 bucks off timu don't spend 70 dollars on this like seriously go and get a pair of binoculars from a proper telescope shop not this okay there we go slide our viewfinder in it's so stable <laughs> all right we've built it have a peek oh wow okay so we can get focus I know that much where's that phone holder so apparently this is going to be able to hook onto this this scares me so much oh wow here we go all right Diego I'm ready to do astrophotography have a look at my gear it's amazing isn't it <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be back later on when it gets dark. I'm gonna give this a shot to see if it works. I have resorted to using the Barlow that came with the new telescope as a mic stand or a mic holder. Pretty cool. Anyway, we are all set up. I've polar aligned it and now I just gotta wait for it to get dark and then we can have a look and see what we can actually see through this thing, see if it's any good. All right, we're back. As you can see, I don't know if you can see actually. There you go. We have the telescope set up and surprisingly, we can actually well, we've seen Jupiter through it. I think one person said that it's probably better than what Galileo saw, but it's still pretty crap. You can still make out actually quite surprisingly full moons, but you really need to know what you're looking for in order to try and find these things. So uh, we're gonna have another look, try and do a bit more deep sky observing with it, see what else I can see, uh, and then give astrophotography a go with it. As you can see, the view looks a little bit different this morning. I'm using the, uh, the little fisheye lens is it a fisheye no, it's not even a fisheye lens it's a 0.45 lens it's meant to give you a wider field of view but it turns it into almost like a fishbowl look um, so from a photography point of view it's not great from a filming point of view it gives a really cool um, I guess look to the videos would I use it again no definitely not is it worth is it worth what Timu sell it for for a bit of fun yeah it absolutely is um, but it doesn't really serve much purpose. You definitely can't use it in the field of astronomy unless you want to take some really quirky shots. Also, this little thing, this monocular telescope, it's better than I thought it was gonna be. It was about $8. It's a, just a, a handy little, yeah, I can see everything nicely in the distance there. Was, I was using it last night. It's it's essentially just like a one-handed binocular. For eight bucks, can I recommend it? Sadly, I can for $8. You can take something like this and you can look at the night sky. You could see Orion quite well through it, Carina Nebula, Tarantula Nebula through it, uh, 47 Tuck, a whole lot of cool open clusters and globular clusters and the big bright nebula. Uh, you could see really well. Now this thing here, we tried some astrophotography with it because it came with the phone holder. It didn't go too well, but surprisingly visually, you could actually see things. The catch is you really, really need to know what you're looking for. It is useless from a movement point of view, just to try and find objects. It's like, it's it's crap, it's rubbish. For 70 bucks that this thing is meant to cost you from Timu or thereabouts, give or take, it's just not worth it. It's plastic. It's got plastic lenses. It's plastic everything. It is cheap, it is rubbish. So that sort of money, you can put a little bit more towards it and get a pair of binoculars would be far more effective than this thing. The telescope, it's rubbish. That's what I think of it, absolute rubbish. Don't buy a telescope off Timu at all, ever. It's junk, it's scammy. Find your local telescope shop, and let them know what you wanna do and let them guide you. Save your money, don't buy crap from Timu like that. Anyway, thanks for that. That's this video done and dusted. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 
Birch at the merch store, astropunk.store. And we'll see you on the next video.